All right, this is a video to show what I've been working on today. I think we're probably gonna publish this one, but there's other ones you can look at. So I've been making a virtual hamburger stand essentially that I'm gonna put into space and I'm recording what I do every day. And so what I did, I think today, I got a headache yesterday, so I didn't get a whole lot done, but I created a spawner that creates slices of cheese and buns. Everything's kind of supersized. Oh, that's why it's not fitting. All right, whoa, okay. Yeah, there's like, the way these objects are, oh, I know exactly, maybe? No, that's just, um, so this is actually like a conveyor belt and we're going to put together hamburgers. And so today there, like, again, got these spawners to work, made, uh, these, they don't, any, nothing comes out of them. Um, but, uh, made them interactive. Um, I also was switching. Uh, there's actually a couple problems. I was trying to research a little bit today, but I don't have a solution yet. So yeah, let's just start the conveyor belt. And there we can see our hamburgers. So we, if we quickly put some cheese and, oh yeah, it, it's got like a bouncing effect or something on it. And um, so there, oh, is that there? And then I did discover an issue, like one of the issues I was um, researching today. So this is a conveyor belt and the kind of the way the code works, if there's an object on top of it, it basically pushes it to the other side. But like, again, it doesn't know the difference between the hot dog or there. So I'm still controlling this, but it's moving that over. So I've got to figure out a way to do that. So, oh, yeah, does that, yeah, that affected that a little bit too, oh, man. But it does reset itself. Okay. So, yeah. So, the idea is there. And then we put the... Wow. Oh, I think the lettuce is stopping that, actually. Okay. So, that's, like, the idea of the game. And then, so, a couple problems that I'm trying to work out that I did a little bit of research and stuff today is that when you put a piece of cheese, like, I want that to become one thing. And it's kind of not. So I got to figure out how to do that. Um, it's basically like essentially like the cheese is kind of like its parent is like this box and I need it to be kind of like when you put the cheese on, like that needs to become one thing and then it's not. So um, I got to figure that out. And then also again, this air where I'm still holding on to it. Um, and, but it, it, conveys the cheese as well and i gotta figure that out and then yeah um figure out the mustard oops I, don't, I, I made everything super size and i don't know if it is another issue i was running into too is and i was uh looking at some other games how they solved it is that there's probably enough space for this stuff i mean i definitely gonna probably make the burger smaller um and make everything smaller will make it a little bit better but if i want to get onions pickles tomatoes and lettuce and stuff kind of all in front it's going to be um too hard to fit um not enough space and again like i have a pretty big barrier that i can walk around but most people probably are going to be in like one standing place so yeah and they just keep coming so there we go I just stop the conveyor belt but uh yeah i didn't get a ton done today and yesterday but a little bit done um oh yeah like a little bit too with the so i had to kind of play around a little bit to get um like say like the cheese and the buns the cheese was kind of okay but the buns like if you kind of basically create the buns too fast they explode and they just go all over the place so um yeah that's what got done today tomorrow yeah, fix that conveyor belt and maybe the switch parent things. I also have a, I, I, we're not seeing it, but I created another test scene to create their flipping. And I might work a little bit on it tonight. I just wanted to make sure I recorded a video today um, to show stuff. But, yep, that's it with the Space Burger for today. All right, bye.